What's up guys, I'm Nightspeeds and in this video we'll be unboxing a pair of shoes, actually two pairs. I got them from Servant Footwear which is a company that probably most people haven't heard of and I know I'm wearing a Nike shirt but this is a Swedish brand. Let's just open them. Both of these are the Loiters, a pair of shoe that I haven't tried before. I've tried the Vallely and also the Uppercut from Servant. But this is going to be a new experience. The shoes from Servant are cheap just to begin with, but this was on sale. So it's just, you know, the, the Servant shoes I've had before just last so long. So you get a lot of value for your money. Starting out, we have some stickers. Then we have the Loiters. Very simple looking shoe, but still very, very stylish. Like the look of it reminds me of some of the Fallen's I've ridden. I've really loved Fallen, so I can tell this is going to be a good shoe. Feels very light, very, very thin, so a lot of board feel. The insole is the same as any other servant shoe, and they're not the best to be honest. So I replace them with my etc. insoles. They're great for for tech stuff, not jumping down more than I don't know six steps. Maybe it's just me who has baby feet, but I need more protection in my insole than that. Another thing they have, which all the other servants I've ridden also had, is this kind of triangular bottom. It's just a very good sole. I really like it a lot more than the kind of wavy or S shape. You always get like pebbles stuck in there. You don't do that with these. So that is just a cool looking shoe. This is the black with the white bottom. Now this colorway is called the Tayback and they're to be exact they're called the Loiters LX more stickers thank you same shoe just kind of light brownish I haven't skated brown shoes before so this is going to be a first when I decide to take these into use same insole of course really just very thin not very much protection but I mean the graphic is kind of cool, the little trash can guy, trash can, I don't know what it's called. But I mean that's just an awesome looking shoe and I really like the colors. The classic black and white, what I always skate, but then we have a brown shoe which I haven't tried before. So I'm really hyped on this and they just, they remind me of a lot of other company skate shoes, you know. That's kind of like the game nowadays. But if you're not familiar with Servant Footwear, it's a Swedish company and I've ridden their shoes a couple of times before. Mainly the Vallely and I actually don't think Mike V is a part of the company anymore. But this is the Vallely shoe, probably one of my most favorite skate shoes ever. A more recent one I've ridden is the Uppercuts. Now there are many similarities to the Vallely, but it is a mid-top shoe so there's more protection for your ankle and I hadn't tried that before. It was a good feel to kind of feel protected more, but the heel is kind of padded with this kind of leather and it just, it didn't feel good on the right foot. So I always got blisters when I skated it and I had to get kind of DIY and just cut a piece of my sock out and glue it on there so I wouldn't get blisters. Otherwise, also a good shoe and felt really good for like jumping down stuff. I had to kind of retire early because of this heel problem. But the Vallelis, I can definitely recommend. I've done 100 nolly flips in them. So I have really good experiences with that shoe. But I'm just going to be rolling around, getting a few simple tricks in these. Let's go test out the Loiters LX. I normally need a day or two to break my shoes in, but these babies actually just work straight out the bat. 
the flick on these are just amazing. I I know I have a good switch flip in general. I, it's the trick I can pop the most and also make look the best of all my flat ground tricks. But these just made it so much easier to flick and just get popped because my board is kind of old and used. Doesn't have that much pop anymore. So kind of just being able to flick it perfectly. I really am in love with this toe. Damn, that feels so sick. And it's just a very thin shoe, so it's very, you can feel your board and it's still, it's still just the basic insoles I have in here, but I didn't land Primo too much and it actually wasn't too bad, but I do expect it to be a problem when skating gaps. These are just perfect for now, but not when I'm kind of moving up the ladder because I'm still watching out for my back. I fell down some stairs yesterday Actually not even skating, just it was raining and slippery so I fell down on my back. So this was just a nice little kind of break in warm up session and I can definitely recommend Loiter's LX. And it was funny because I talked with some Americans a couple days ago and they just asked me what shoes I was riding and I mentioned it was a Swedish, you know, a Scandinavian footwear company and they weren't down for that at all. They were like, keep the jobs in America. But as a European, Scandinavian, Danish skater, I like supporting, you know, whoever is just a core skate brand. You can say you only want shoes made in the United States and then be wearing stuff like Nikes and New Balance. That doesn't make sense because they're not made in the States. I'm sorry, guys. So if you want to support a pretty core and just a cool skate brand to make shoes that last long and feel great skating, I recommend Servant Footwear. So let me know in the comments down below if you've heard about Servant before or if you've already tried them and what are your thoughts on them. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and you know, join the notification squad because it seems like just subscribing isn't always enough nowadays. You also need to be notified when a new upload is there. So I really appreciate it if you do that and then thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.